Inclusion. No longer just a word buried in a dictionary, but a mandate, a movement, and a cardinal principle that many brands use to guide their decision-making process and dictate their next business move. And with the increase of racial tensions and social uprising around the world the past year, social networks are stepping up too, reassessing their diversity efforts behind the scenes and on their platforms via features and initiatives dedicated to representing and supporting users from marginalized and underrepresented communities. Let's take a look at the latest inclusion efforts from our go-to social media platforms. LinkedIn, a familiar spot for networkers and job seekers to assemble, no matter their area code since 2003. So when they expanded their inclusive features last year, professionals noticed, starting with the audio feature that allows users to record the pronunciation of their name and display it on their profiles. Around the same time, LinkedIn launched free diversity and inclusion courses that seems like a natural extension of the platform. LinkedIn Learning Diversity, Inclusion and Belonging for All include courses covering topics like unconscious bias, inclusive conversations, hiring and retaining diverse talents, addressing culturally sensitive issues, and more. As the old saying goes, knowledge is power, and with a total of seven courses, five hours of content, and one completion badge up for grabs, LinkedIn is one of the only leading social networks that are encouraging equity through education. On May 11th, Instagram took to Twitter to announce the launch of a new feature that would allow users to share their pronouns in their account profiles. Up to four pronouns, to be exact. Many users had shared their pronouns in their bios in the past without a dedicated feature implemented by the platform. But the app responded to the growing demand for representation and identity, offering users a pre-approved list of common pronouns, a form to submit a preferred pronoun should it not be on the list, and the option to hide or publicize pronouns in user profiles for security purposes. The feature took flight with many personalizing their Insta life even more, including Demi Lovato, who took to her page a week later to announce that she identifies as non-binary, officially changing her pronouns to they and them moving forward. If the platform was looking for an advocate, Demi's public display of identity certainly helped spread some much needed awareness of the tool. And speaking of awareness, but perhaps on the less favorable front was last year's Pinterest call out from former employees who brought to the public's attention the racial and gender bias prevalent in the company's internal culture. The news forced Pinterest to reassess diversity and inclusion within the workplace and look at initiatives that would amplify BIPOC storytellers within the platform itself. Since the callout came amidst the Black Lives Matter movement, the image sharing social platform has evolved its products and tools with improved machine learning systems to address bias and representation of diverse creators and retailers that use the app. At the root of it, social media networks will continue to play a vital role in promoting and maximizing inclusion, equity, and diversity. They've become everyday household tools in connection and education, especially the past year. And while there's arguably still lots of work to be done, thanks to the platform users who continue to push for greater accountability on these networks, we'll likely continue to see more positive changes in the very near future.